everyone. So this review is for Mississippi River Mischief by Greg Heron. Um, if you want to check out my review, I have just posted that. So if you're on YouTube, there's a link in the description below. And if you're on my blog, there's a link within the post. And this is the video review. So Mississippi River Mischief by Greg Heron. This was quite the mystery. Um, so Scotty takes his mind off of his new problems as a homeowner um, by following the trail of a new case. So he's kind of like a, a little, he does a little bit of sleuthing and, and looking around. And um, a dead politician who was harassing Scotty's best friend's student uh, leaves him uh, investigating um, if the student is kind of behind all of this. And it takes him and his friends on an adventure that has even more surprises waiting. Um, everything about this intrigued me. Like, literally everything. The characters, the storyline, um, the case. Everything was just a bit of a question mark. And um, it kept me really sort of uh, enthralled in the book, like, to know where it was all going and who was who and what was going to happen. So I haven't read any other... Um, Scotty Bradley mystery stories so I haven't read any of Greg's other stories so this was my first introduction to the character and being book six I wasn't sure um, if that would impact my understanding of the characters but it worked really well as a standalone story Greg gives you enough to understand who's who what they're doing um, what they do and, and and how they're connected to one another so I had all the information I needed to understand how Scotty knew those around him and why he was on, on this case why he was uh, trying to solve this mystery and there was an element to this story that just like I say kept me hooked not only the discoveries but also the elements built into the story with um, the picture painted of the surrounding areas they ended up visiting so it's very difficult to say too much about the story without giving too much away because obviously mysteries um, have that effect and you need to read them um, but what was lovely about this is it alluded to a darker side of New Orleans and I'm used to reading stories where New, New Orleans is like party central do you know what I mean it's like it's a fun place and you go there to have fun and this was a, it was alluding to um, a, a sort of immersive look into the underhand and corrupt business that goes on underneath all of that that's hidden and it is hidden in plain view it's right there if you're looking for it um, so as usual with the, with the mysteries, I end up suspecting absolutely everyone, and I definitely did this time. Um, I missed all the clues, <laughs> and it made each twist and turn so much more exciting because I was surprised by literally everything that Scotty was uncovering or discovering about people and this place and places outside of this place. So following this trail, everything that was being uncovered was a surprise to me. I hadn't figured any of it out. I hadn't put any of it together. Um, at all and so it was a very interesting adventure it had lots of twists and turns like I say I really really enjoyed it and I hope to join Scotty on future mysteries and maybe explore some of the previous ones as well because um, I think it was a lot of fun and I, I do enjoy mysteries I'm rubbish at trying to solve them but that's what the characters are there for so yeah I would really love to read some more of them and um, excited for what the what the future holds for Scotty um, his, his investigations are a lot of fun um so yeah i really really enjoyed it and i hope you will too i'll pop a link in the description so you can grab a copy of mississippi river mischief by greg heron which i hope you will if you've read mississippi river mischief would love to know what you thought of it did you solve it did you figure it out and um, please do share and let me know if you haven't read it yet but you're planning to read it it's on you to be read list so you're now super intrigued and thinking yes i'd really like to read that and then again please do let us know because it's always great to find out what you're interested in reading and if you do read it i really really hope you enjoy it bye